Your energy life is what in the old days? You use energy. Yeah. You buy from utilities and up to your meter at in front of your house. Now we move behind meter. It means we move close to you. Once you get close to your customers, you know their, their story. You know their behavior. What we need to do is recognise that what we've been doing with energy for the last hundred years just can't be sustained and that technology has come along that's allowed us to move to a completely different way of, of envisioning our industry. So the challenge for us now is not a technology one, it's a cognitive one of saying that we don't have to do what we've been doing for the last hundred years for the next hundred. We can do something different. Obviously there's some uh, investment involved when you bring in new innovation in technology as well. So we sacrifice on bringing the innovation without causing more burden to consumer or to society because we believe that's important to the future. It may not translate to better um, margin to the business, but we see that it's important to focus our effort to make renewable energy sustainable for the longer term. So we, we move from wholesale uh, business model to the retail. Retail means after the meter, uh, for example, at your home. We produce only green electron, yeah. solar, wind, geothermal. The real example here in Bangkok is our project, so-called T77. T77 is residential community. We have um, so many projects in, in the community. We have condominiums, uh, we have townhouse, we have school, and also we have the community mall as well. So everything, all the projects, all, um, all, the, all the buildings are in the same uh, neighborhood, in the same area. Creating a platform or a project like the T77 project demonstrates that consumers, property developers, uh, innovative companies like BCPG can actually make some change in this industry and, and take it from one where change has traditionally been a glacial process to one where it can happen quickly and in the sort of time span that we need it to happen. What we have been developed is a demonstration of a peer-to-peer -peer energy trading. It's a new space. No one can do this before. So if we can create an environment uh, where consumers are encouraged to stay connected to the grid, to operate their renewable systems in a way that contributes to the sustainability of the energy system, we can create a, a transitional technology that takes us from a heavy carbon energy industry to one that is characterised by distributed renewable. So PowerLedge is an energy trading platform and the intent of the platform is to give an incentive to consumers to install PV panels, solar panels, uh, to sell and, uh, their excess energy and optimise the value of their investment in renewable clean renewable energy. Innovation technology is so important. We offer them a low cost, low carbon society and our product allows them to be part of a green people. Our company is just only one piece of jigsaw. We, we need people all around the world to be part of the green communities to have our customer understand the technology, offer them a real better solution that, that's very important. If we only do a conventional way, produce only green electron, cheaper, that, that's, that's not enough. We, we need every sector to become zero emission players. Saying is very difficult to convince people. I think we do things to prove them. So we don't follow trends, we follow the, the fact. People tend to change, their, first of all, their mindset because they have incentives to do that. The project with BCBG has given us uh, a platform, so it's given us something we can point to. When we're having conversations in other parts of the world, and, and PowerLedge is active now in Japan, the United States and in Australia, we can point to this project here in Bangkok to say, look, this does work. Consumers are actually benefiting from the, the availability of distributed renewable energy. We're decarbonising the energy system and the platform works. 
the reason why I believe in this, in uh, renewable energy, because that's for, for the next generation, actually for my kids. Because imagine 10 years from now, if you don't serious about renewable energy, if you don't serious about um, taking care of society, if you don't care about uh, green, 10 years from now we may live in a poor quality of life and that's a sad story for my children.